What's going on everybody? Andrew here. Got a hot sauce review for you. Finally, you know. Um, this is for my good buddy, Greg Dooley, the owner of Chattanooga Chili Head. Yeah. Um, you can find him at ChattanoogaChiliHead.com. He's in the process of getting all of his uh, paperwork together so we can commercially sell these sauces to the people, which is pretty awesome. Uh, ooh, excuse me. The ingredients of the sauce are the Trinidad 7-Pot Dougla, also known as the Chocolate 7-Pot, caramelized bananas, Vidalia onion, roasted garlic, apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, local honey, purified water, and kosher salt. There's the color there. It's a nice, got a good liquidity, viscosity, if you will. Nice yellow slash orange color. I do know my colors, it's mostly orange. It's, got, it's more orange than yellow, but it's in the yellow, yellow, going towards the yellow region more than red. So let me give it a good shake. My nice ceramic knife. Every time I flick those little restrictor tops off, they fly everywhere. And just that little bit lit me up. All right. You can smell the onions and the garlic. And those douglas, man. I really appreciate you sending this to me, Greg. I, I mean, this, uh, how much? I'm gonna sneeze. <clears throat> you know it's hot when it makes you sneeze, just from smelling it. I'm looking forward to this. Greg is known for making um, gourmet sauces in small batches. He does a lot of fermentation with his sauces as well, to uh, to give them a to the right pH before he passes them out. Um, nice big spoonful. I'm gonna spill it if I go too long. A little bit of sweetness. That seven pot gets you good. A dougla, those things are brutal. You can taste the bananas, the onions, the garlic. A little bit of tang from the vinegar. The dougla gives you pretty much an overall mouth burn. If you have a lot of it, it'll get you in the throat. That sauce is getting me like right in the back of the top of the mouth area, which usually is where the douglas get me really well, is in the top of the back of the, like where your nasal passages start to kick up. It's a well-balanced flavor. Um, you can take, you can taste some of the salt, um, as well. The bananas, I, I thought they would have been more overwhelming, because bananas usually have a overwhelming uh, sweetness and flavor to them, but when you ferment them, they lose some of the sweetness and they lose some of uh, their prominent flavor, and it brings a like almost like a somewhat. I mean, you caramelize them, so then those sugars tend to break down when you caramelize someone something. It brings out the sugar, but then when you ferment it. It, uh, it kind of breaks them down even further and it kind of gives it like a smoky um, I mean it's almost like a bourbony type flavor um, it's the only thing I can equate it to um, because you have the smokiness from the caramelization um, and, and those sugars that are being picked up when you're fermenting, it kind of brings it all together. Like when you're aging a bourbon or a whiskey, you age it in a barrel. 
and the barrels are usually burned on the inside to pull out the sugars from the wood and the caramel notes in the wood. So that's kind of what I think is going on here with all the, I mean, you got the brown sugar and the onions and the garlic. The Vidalia onion is pretty is a pretty sweet onion in general. Um, and then you caramelize the bananas and then you take those sugars, allowing you to actually ferment the, the sauce itself. Um, for heat, I'd probably um, give it a six and a half out of ten. It's not, it is, I mean, it's, it's hot, but it's not overwhelmingly hot. Like, I can still talk, and it's not painful. It has a good bit of sting. Um, I got a little bit of sweat on the brow. Um, and then uh, it's pretty, it's a pretty instant and uh, high heat, but it's not overwhelmingly hot. Um, it's something you could definitely use in larger quantities. Excuse me, but not too large of a quantity, because it'll make your stomach hurt, I'm sure. Uh, as most uh, seven pot sauces would um, they're very very high in heat but I do like I usually tell you I have a tolerance for heat so um, that's kind of where we're at with that so check out Greg Dooley on Facebook at Chattanooga Chili Head also ChattanoogaChiliHead.com he's got a lot of other things as well here's his card he also has a lot of these, which is his, are his dusts. Um, he sent this to me as well. Um, this has a bunch of different things in it, but mostly scorpions, douglas, and brain strains. So this this stuff this stuff will get you. Um, so he has that available on his website as well. Go ahead and check him out. Again, my name is Andrew. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Over here, we're always trying to kick the heat up a notch, and this will definitely do it. So, see you on the next review, guys. Thanks. Have a good one.